The Packers have played their four quarters. Now it's time for the fifth quarter. So, a native of Illinois, right? Yes. Elgin? Bartlett area, yeah. Bartlett area, yeah. Bartlett area, okay. Uh, and off to the University of Illinois for the one season. Yes, two. And he's not playing time? Yeah, no, I went there as a walk-on. Uh, a walk-on? Yeah, not even yeah. recruited? No, a walk-on. And uh, I got red-shirted there my first year, so I got some good experience, good time to learn. And then my redshirt freshman year, I played uh, about four or five plays a game as a backup, and uh, then I transferred after that second year. Now, was Zook the coach? Zucker was my guy. Zucker was your guy. <laughs> All right. So you had a falling out and had to get out of there? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, when Zook left, I left. You know, he left, and then his whole— Really? Uh, yeah, they cleared house when, they, when he got released. Uh, they, they fired every single coach on staff, and they brought in a whole bunch of new guys. And I, that spring ball, I was a walk-on still, you know, and wasn't seeing much of the field. And I was like, you know what, maybe I should transfer. The last three years, I went to Whitewater. Why Whitewater? Um, I had an older sister that played basketball there. So really? She, yeah, she was a year older than me. So my senior year of high school, you know, I got to go up there and watch her as a freshman play. So I saw the school and, and saw the campus, the football team, and I knew they were a good team. They yes, were just yeah. coming off of a three-peat national championship when I transferred in. So there was all thumbs up as I was heading in. It looked I have like a, a sister great who school. went to Whitewater. It, Love the campus. Yep. Great town. Great, great town. town. In terms of basketball skills, who's better, your sister or you? Who wins in the – um, she's got me in free throws, I'll tell you that. Yeah? She can knock them down, yeah, but I think I'd be able to take her. I imagine you probably have a little bit more ups. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. She's, she's tall, though. She played center, so she's got the post. She knows how to do it. So the Warhawk program is still rolling, Jake. What still is it rolling. about that place? Uh, powered by tradition. They, they know how to do it. They know how to do it right. Uh, guys, you know, the guys in front of them, the guys in front of me, they all paved the way and then and made it what it was. So now we, when new guys come in, we just you know try and hold up to that what standard. Was it six straight championship games in a row, I think it was. Yeah, something like six that. Six straight, six or seven out of eight or nine, something like that. A good run, good run. And it just seems to be the Division Three party is Whitewater, Mount Union, and what Warhawks got bounced by what Mary Harden Baylor this year. Yep. In the semis. Right in the semis. Yeah, unbelievable. That group of uh, teams is just always there in division three yep. great experience so any scouts come a calling and come a looking while you were piling up numbers for the warhawks uh yeah there was like one or two teams that showed interest uh but it wasn't until the end of the year when i got invited to wisconsin's pro day that i, I uh, knew i was gonna be able to showcase some of my skills so you have to get an invite to uh work out with the badger seniors yeah uh, I guess a couple of D3 guys around the area get an invite over there. Nice. And uh, I was one of them. And luckily my quarterback was too. So he was the one throwing to everybody there. So he threw to me and we were perfect. All right. Yeah. But undrafted, right? Yep. Bengals come calling first. Yep. Uh, Bengals called first. I decided to go there as a free agent. Uh, I ended up making the practice squad my first year. Uh, hung on there. Got to learn a lot from those guys. Uh, and then the same thing the next year. Were, were they the only call, or were some other teams interested as well? There was like, a handful, yeah. There was like three or four or five teams that said, hey, we'd love to have you as a free agent uh, right after the draft ended. You know, I didn't get picked. Uh, and, yeah, so I decided, you know, the Bengals would have been the best fit. Who were the other teams? I uh, can't remember. Uh, I think the, maybe the Saints, the Bucks, uh, the Bills. There's a couple handful. Uh, we were interested in the Bengals, though. We thought Cincinnati would be a good spot. What What was it about the the Bengals that made you think you had a shot with that team? Uh, I was talking to my agent about it, and he thought it was a good match with the guys they had there, with the years of experience and everything else. So I trusted in them, and uh, Ohio's cool. So let's go. <laughs> so practice squad, finally get off that, get hurt, right? Yep. And then yeah, the just the drive to just – press on we talked about it a little bit but you ever get frustrated uh, think it might not happen yeah you know you, you you have to be i mean you, you you have to be patient but you can't be frustrated it's really what it is uh when you're injured or when you're not starting and you're not playing you have to be patient with it uh otherwise you know you're gonna be frustrated so, so this is patient. like the fourth year right since college yes fourth year a lot of guys would just all right let's lean on the degree or do something else yeah, I want to play. I know. <laughs> I like was playing. It it's fun. Was there ever a moment, though, where that kind of creeped in that maybe this isn't going to work out for me? Maybe I just start looking at a different direction? Uh, I mean, yes and no, not really. Everybody thinks about that, you know. Oh, man, what if, you know, the year doesn't go as, as planned? Or what if, you know, I don't make it? Or, or you know, but 
and then you just have to flush it. It has to go in one year and out the other. And uh, all I know is when this, when I'm up up uh, on the ball and the, the ball gets snapped, I just got to run my route. You know, I don't think of any of the other all stuff. Right. I only really have one more question. Uh, is the chin strap uncomfortable with that beard? No, it's extra cushion. Extra, <laughs> extra cushion. cushion. <laughs> how long has you been? How long has that thing been going? Um, I had it all last year, and then when I came to camp this year. Well, I remember when you got here, yeah. Yeah, I had it when I got here. It was a lot smaller, but I had it from the year past. <laughs> Instead of trimming it for training camp, I decided to let it go this year, so I had a good head start on everybody. So it's been, I guess, almost this will be the two years, yeah. All right. Better head of hair, you or Clay Matthews? Uh, you got to give it to Clay, man. His hair has made more plays than mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's one thing that Packers fans would be surprised to learn about you? Um, well, I love snowboarding, but maybe you could guess that. Um, <laughs> snowboarding is like my favorite thing to do other than play football. It's a lot of fun. You uh, haven't been tempted to uh, just slap the board and go down Aaron's Hill? No, not here. Yeah, that would be sweet. That would no, be fun. I, I not during the season, I yeah, wouldn't yeah, think. Right. We got another week. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is there snow on it? Oh, yeah. There's plenty. They're making snow nice. on that thing. And you can go on it, like, after the season? Like, people, the, anyone could go on it? Well, sure. How does that thing work over there? I yeah. don't even know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Pony up. Well, I'm sure you could get a break. What is it? Four bucks a ride? <laughs> five bucks a ride? Just maybe to slide I'll, down the hill? Maybe after New Year's, I'll check it out. Let's check it out. All right. We'll throw some moguls in there and really make it interesting. <laughs> is there anything like that written in contracts anymore about, you know, Activities you can do, you can't oh, yeah. do during um, season? Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, you know, I just maybe go once or twice, a couple of the friends, and just right. keep it safe. Say you get into the end zone this coming weekend. Yeah. Lambo. Anything special planned? Well, no, not for sure. I didn't even know what to do when I scored last week. <laughs> that, that's that's not something. So many guys think about that, how they're going to celebrate, what yeah. they're going to do. That's not something for you to worry about. No, I usually like to celebrate with like one of the guys that's always even more fun i haven't turn seen around it. and like see one of the boys and you know headbutt them or there jump you go. Into but him. yeah i haven't seen any stuff. real choreographed and celebrations out of this team yeah this we year. haven't been on it that much this year uh some of the guys have been mentioning it in the locker room like man we got to get back to doing some good ones but uh yeah we got a lot of new guys and we're all really just focused on learning uh so <laughs> we're just so we're focused in on aaron trying to learn how he plays so a lot of guys haven't been thinking about that so maybe no time to learn dances. That's yeah. If we, <laughs> maybe if we're learning dances, they might come yell at us that we should yeah, be learning no the plays more. Maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you know, a beer barrel polka. Just everybody get in the end zone and just polka a little bit. Yeah, uh, I think would be pretty good that for this weekend. Good. Uh, but certainly a leap is in order. You know, you got to do that. Yeah, absolutely. All Number right. one. No question about that.